Hey, welcome back guys. This is Jason, KM4ACK. Today, we're going to take a look at my field repair kit. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going today, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. So as of late, I've been trying to make my packs and my kits a bit more modular, uh, just so I can pick and choose what I want to take out with me. Some days, maybe I need solar panels. Some days, maybe I don't. Some days, maybe I need an eight amp hour battery. Other days, maybe I need a 16 amp hour. Some days I may want a full blown toolkit with me. Other days, that's eh, just not necessary. I'm only be gone a couple of hours and if something breaks, well, it was just a fun trip. I'll bring it back to the house and go ahead and take care of that repair. So part of that has been kind of redesigning my toolkit. So let me bring you guys in a little bit closer and let's take a look at what I've put in this kit. Okay, now starting out, this was a bag that I found on Amazon uh, and it seems to fit pretty well for what I'm using here. Of course, I had to make me a patch uh, for the outside just to let me or anyone else that stumbles across it know what's inside. On the back of the pouch has some more Molly straps. If you wanted to attach this to another backpack, you could do so. And guys, I'll leave links to this stuff if you're interested down in the description below. So let's go ahead and start digging into the bag. First thing up, I tell you what, I'm gonna move this to the side and I'll just kind of pull things out as we go. The first thing I've done is I've assembled this little bitty uh, kind of tackle kit box with all kinds of little goodies in it that I might need while I'm out in the field. Maybe it's fuses that I need out in the field. Maybe it's some sort of adapter. Maybe I need to go from BNC to SO239. Maybe I need an extra uh, dog bone connector. I've got some of those in there. Uh, so various uh, connectors and things in uh, this compartment here. I've got some extra wire terminals here. Maybe I pull something off of uh, one of my antenna ends and I need to do a quick repair on the wire. I've got that here. Also keep some ferrite beads, toroids. If I've got a noise issue, I can go ahead and try to uh, maybe put the coax through here or power cable through here and try to cut out some of that noise. Uh, more connectors over here. I've got just a little bit of shrink tubing. Maybe we nick a wire or something. We've got something that we can put uh, on it and protect it a little bit until we can get back and make a more proper repair. Of course, I've got tie wraps. Everybody needs tie wraps. Uh, so that's kind of a look at it. I do have uh, a little bit of magnet wire here and down underneath this stuff, I keep... Uh, well, let's see, there's a couple more pieces of shrink tubing and a little bit more down here. But I do keep a little bit of solder down in here. There is a soldering iron that I'll show you in just a minute that works really well in the field. So there is a little bit of solder if we needed to uh, do one of those quick repairs, like putting one of the terminal uh, lugs or one of the ring terminals on the wire. All right, boy, that was noisy. Now, I was speaking of a soldering iron while ago. This is uh, just a gas-powered soldering iron, so uh, I've got it in two pieces. It comes apart, so I believe you can change the tips and things out, but I keep just a general-purpose tip on the end of it, uh, and I make sure that this thing is filled up with uh, gas before I head out. With that, uh, I have used this two or three times in the field and never had an issue uh, with running out of gas. Uh, with this. So if you're going to do a, a big project, you're probably not going to want to use this, but then again, you're probably not going to do a big project in the field. So uh, gas-powered soldering iron is a great uh, little thing to have in the field. Uh, some of the other things I keep in the bag, these are folded up, but uh, it's just more tie wraps. Uh, they wouldn't fit in the original little tackle box. I also keep uh, this handy little screwdriver. It's got a Phillips, and if you pull it out, a flat on this end. 
and that's the larger end of it I do believe and if we come out on this side we've got a smaller Phillips and a smaller flathead so just a good little item to have in your bag now something that is not in that bag but something that I always have on me on a day-to-day -day basis is my Leatherman Wave uh, it's just something that travels with me every single day it's always in my pocket uh, so I can rely on this not having to have some of the tools on here also in the bag so it's not really part of this kit but it does uh, supplement things inside this kit we've got some more solder in here this is a little bit larger gauge just in case we needed that this is a multimeter that i found on amazon it is not uh you know i wouldn't want to bet my life on this thing but if i just need to check continuity or i need to check voltage on something this is a pretty handy little voltage meter to have in the kit i think this guy was like 15 bucks so if i lose it or break it while i'm in the field i'm not going to cry too much about it but uh, always good when you're troubleshooting to have some sort of meter with you even when it's not uh, the highest quality meter but come on for 16 bucks what do you expect right uh, in addition to that i keep a roll of electrical tape again if i nick a wire i don't have uh, the proper size uh, heat shrink i may just throw some electrical tape on it until i can get back to the house and make a better repair I also keep this little set uh, of nut, or uh, it's a nut driver. So it's got a ratchet that accepts uh, quarter inch bits on it and then a multitude of quarter inch bits in this little kit. Uh, I did buy this off of Amazon. I think I can find a link for these. If I can, again, I'll leave this down in the description below. But uh, really handy little kit to have with you. It's got uh, Torx bits in it, it's got uh, square bits, it's got Phillips, it's got flat, it's got quite a bit in it. Underneath the uh, ratchet is also an extension driver or an extension for the driver. I'm not sure you can see that in the video, but it is underneath the ratchet. Also to go along with this, I picked up this little set of nut drivers. I bought these three or four years ago. You can tell they've been drug around a bit. I got a little rust on them. Probably need to take some time to clean these up. But each of these is uh, will fit in that driver that you just saw or in that ratchet that you just saw. So you can just slip this in and it gives you, uh, you know, pretty good capabilities to be such a small kit. So it's got both metric uh, on top and American Standard on the bottom. All right, guys, well, there's a look at what I keep in the little field repair kit. Again, I'm going more modular, so I want to be able to pick and choose what items I'm going to need when I get ready to head out. Uh, it, it allows me a little bit more flexibility each time I leave the house to play radio. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We'll see you guys on the next video. Until then, 7-3.